Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose, and today we're going to be talking about a diff file written by William Dean Howells. Now, before I go into the summary and, and analysis of this work, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment so the channel can continue to grow. So, a diff by William Dean Howells. Um, you know, William, William Dean Howells here. Uh, very excellent work. Uh, a lot of things are happening within this short story. Uh, basically, we have the Spanish-American War. Um, we have the setting of, you know, it's wartime, right? It's wartime. Uh, America, you know, people are galvanizing and, and, you know, building strength, building that courage to go to war. People are enlisting. And Adifa here is a young woman. You know, she's engaged with this man by the name of George and... You know they they're they're on the way of getting married. You know that whole um, you know common lifestyle uh, that you know most humans. It's like human life. It's pretty much routine. You know when you know in your twenties and your thirties, people get you know tied together. You get engaged. You find someone you want to, you want to spend your life with. You get married, have children, the whole nine yards. You know you know that that common um, human. Um, reality uh and basically a diffa here he's, she's a young woman beautiful uh she has george he's he's a lawyer um or or you know he switched from being a minister to being a lawyer so he has a bright future as a lawyer he's about to make some money he has a beautiful woman it's the perfect story right the beginning of the short story is the perfect story that you would want um it's the life that every human being would ever want on earth you know uh, you know, if you're a guy, you're successful, you're, you're on the path of being a lawyer. That means money. That means a good position in society, a respectable position in society. You have a beautiful woman that is, that is willing to be your wife. Um, everything looks good at the beginning. In the beginning, they're kissing, they're hugging and, you know, kisses and hugs and everything's just all right. Uh, but in the background, the Spanish American war is, is getting closer and closer and um, Adifa is listening a lot to the media. Now, the media is very important. Now, the media, um, we know how influential the media is in the modern 23, right? 2023. Um, we know how the media influences and affects people's lives and, and gets into people's heads. Well, it definitely gets into Adifa's heads within the short story. Basically, Adifa is like this young woman. She's reading a lot of newspapers, listening to the media. She's listening to the propaganda, you know, go, go enlist. You're patriotic. It's for the country. It's for the protection of the nation and, and all this and that and the third. And she pretty much gets this idea that uh, before, you know, George can marry her and be with her and then be all for her and her love and her affections. Uh, well, he needs to be for the country. He needs to be for, for the country, okay? Uh, and so she pretty much manipulates him to being this patriotic, this this fervor and passion and like, you know, you want to, to go fight for your country. In fact, she even threatens him. She's like, you know, if you don't go fight for your country in the Spanish-American War, we're done. We're done. It's all over. Game over. And George, you know, he pretty much really loves her. So he goes and enlists and he dies. All right. And then when Adifa gets this news, it's kind of world shattering for her because she was looking in her mind. right? she was imagining this this reality where George would go off to war, win the war, come back into her life. They would get married. He would be a lawyer. They would have the kids, the white picket fence, the little house on the prairie. I'm just, you know, just throwing all the good things. And and even the Disney happily ever after. Why not? You know, we could just have all our dreams come true. You know, when you wish upon a star, the whole the whole nine yards, the whole deal. Uh, but that's not what happens. That's not that's not at all what happens here. George George he gets murked. All right. Uh, he, he dies. It's all over. The game over. And the diff was like, oh, 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 I wasn't expecting that. She she has a little bout of a little fever here. Then she gets out of bed and she goes sees George's mom. And George's mom's like, yeah, you killed him. You killed him. I read the letter that you sent to him, that you gave to him. You pretty much threatened him. If he didn't go to war, you would pretty much not be with him. And so it's all on you. And Adifa, she really feels this. She really feels the sting of this because this man did not want to go to war. Again, it's enlistment. You have to enlist yourself. You have to sign up to go to war. 
George didn't want to do it. It's a diffo who convinced him to do it. He did it and he died. And it's like the, the short story is very real. It's realism here, okay? It's like, yeah, he's dead, all right? He went to war. He's a soldier. He got shot somehow, blown up. Torn to bits and pieces. I'm not really going to hide the truth from you guys. You know what happens in war. People get shot and killed and sliced and diced. War is not fun. You know, war, what is it good for? You know, it's people die. And like, we're all humans, no matter what country, no matter what nation. When it comes to, to death and dying in war, somebody's going to die. Somebody's son, somebody's father, somebody's uncle, somebody's brother. Everybody dies. That's war. It's just... Everybody just lines up in the line and kill each other. That's that's literally, that's what, since the beginning of time, war is pretty much just line up. All the men, young men, old men, all the men that can fight, you line up and you kill each other till whoever has more people left standing. It's a fight to the death. That's that's what war is. There's no sugarcoating it. And Adifa, you know, she was in her mind, you know, her, her she was, come, you know, snuggling to her ideals of, of womanhood and, 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 and malehood and what it means to be a man. And she wanted George to be a man and go fight for, for honor, for, for country. And, and, and he gets killed. He gets killed. And that was the end of George. And, um, in terms of analysis here in Deeper Meaning, it's, it's a really cold story, you know. Um, Adifa is not really a good person. She man manipulates the man into dying uh, just because she wanted to fulfill a fantasy of hers. And she didn't want her their engagement to just be, hey, you know, you want to get married? She didn't want that. She wanted the whole honor and fighting for honor and fighting for her hand in marriage. And, you know, she wanted George to do something epic before marrying her and... She was listening to the newspaper and the radio and, you know, the media at the time. And basically, um, it got George killed. So this says a lot about the, it says a lot about the media. I mean, people listen to the media blindly, whatever they say, that's what they follow. That's not always the case. It, it, it doesn't mean just because the news and websites and the social media says something, that doesn't mean, that doesn't mean you should follow it. Because sometimes people could be leading you astray, you could be being deceived. Um, that's so. That's a critique of the media in this in this short story. Another one is how gullible Adifa is. You know, she's she's not forming her own opinions. She's just pretty much throughout the whole short story, she's just uh, 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 just a talking, a mouthpiece for what she's been hearing. She has no opinions of herself. Um, also, it's this, the short story is about how weak George is just because this woman wanted him to do it and manipulated him. And again, he's a lawyer. I would imagine a lawyer would, would understand human psychology and, and words enough to understand when you're being manipulated. But George, just like a puppy, just listens to orders and just go fights in the war. And then also the plight of motherhood. You know, George's mother, she's crying and she knows it's a diffa that pretty much killed her son. Uh, but she really can't do anything about it. When Adifa goes to see the mother and she's like, you know, I'm so sorry if this happened. And, you know, George's mother's like, yeah, you, you're the one that did it. You're the one that killed my boy. And um, the grief is palpable. It's very palpable. And um, yeah, that's that's the story. I mean, it kind of ends bad, badly for Adifa because she's left without a husband. She left, She's left without a man who's a lawyer who can produce money. Especially at that time, you know, women weren't working, so you had to really rely on your husband for the breadwinning. And so Adifa's future is kind of uncertain here. So because of the fact that she went to follow her fantasies and the media, she's left without a husband. She le she's left financially. Financially, she's more poor or her future is uncertain financially. Uh, you have a woman that will hate you for life and you're on your own. Just because you wanted to follow the media and your own fantasies about what it truly means to be in love. Oh, love. There's a lot of layers to it. There's certainly a lot of layers to it. Well, that's my summary analysis of this work. Please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video.